From West Hollywood, California, the only news team that doesn't know what's on the teleprompter before they read it. Anyone who laughs or breaks loses points. This is Breaking News. Welcome to Breaking News, the only news show where we don't know what we're about to say and we aren't allowed to smile or laugh. I'm Children's Oncology Department. And I'm Omar GameCube. Tonight's top story, you two me 2D at a Scooby-Doo read through. <laughs> After 30 years posing as an Irish rock band, Bono, The Edge, Adam Clayton, and that other guy have been exposed as a vengeful bed and breakfast owner who told authorities. And I would have gotten it away with it too if it weren't for my wife. And now for a little segment called Roger's Rants, where our sportscaster and local man about town, Roger Foosballs, gives us all you viewers a little piece of his mind. Let snakes be socks. I want to stomp my hooves into some serpents and clomp around the town square. Hiss, hiss, go my tootsies. Oh, ah, goes the people admiring my kick-ass new socks. Thanks, Roger. In ongoing coverage, the city sanitation department is still struggling to find the source of an infestation in the city's water supply, as fishes with human mouths have been turning up in people's sinks and toilets, screaming, please kill me. Oh, God, please kill me. The government puts chemicals in your water to control your mind. For now, the head of sanitation department is recommending people ignore the fishes, please, for death by either flushing them or sauteing them with a dash of paprika and pepper for a sewer fish dinner. Yum. We got a couple of those in our toilet and I make my kids cook them up for me in a big fat stew. Those used to be my kids. Oh, not, not this again. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they liked it at my house better because I gave them jobs with wages, cleaning my kitchen and licking my windows. So now they are my beautiful son and two daughters. I miss them every day. Hey, Roger, you got another rant for us, big boy? If you're a baby, don't sneak up on me. You aren't quite human, and that spooks me. I might think you're a big mouse or a loud spider that moves weird and try to stomp on you. Then my sister will be mad at me all over again for stomping on her big spider baby. Ooh, boy, gotta agree with him there. You can't walk, you can't talk, you can't gobble down ass like it's Thanksgiving. Stay the hell away from me. Hey, Roger, finish up those rants. Grand Theft Auto should be a Broadway musical. Back to you, Children's Oncology Department. Thanks, Raj. That's a terrible take, and I disrespectfully disagree with you. It made me feel nothing. I am hollow without my kids. We now go to our Metro reporter, Teresa Mapizza, for the latest in local news. Thanks, Omar. I'm at the county fairgrounds where some unfortunate setbacks have befallen the fair before its opening. A black bear escaped its cage and ate the bearded lady. You heard me, Bilbo Bearby. <laughs> <laughs> The beloved black bear bit the bearded belladonna into bits, belching boisterously. Afterwards, the bear put on its tiny bear jacket and bear blanket, got on its unicycle and rode off into the sunset. The fair is devastated over its loss. We'll miss that bearded lady. No, bitch! <laughs> I don't want to say that. Go ahead, please do, please. Uh, no, uh, the, the, it's no. not, that's rude. Uh, the bear, the bear is the loss. Bilbo Bearbeard is his name, and he's everyone's favorite bear. He's got a big, big mouth and even bigger bear balls. When he scoots around on his little bear scooter, I just want to scoot my boot until it's raw. Sometimes they let you watch as they feed him fish, and then he is a big yum yum in the tum tum boy. I am devastated. Back to you. Thanks, Teresa. I'm very sad for your loss. Quickly, before we wrap up, you hate to see it and we hate to do it, but we have to issue a correction on last week's reporting. Patricia Heaton from Everybody Does Raymond is not technically my loving, lumpy mommy. She is only allegedly my loving, lumpy mom. Other than that correction, please remember that the news is always good and right, just like my dude, my king, my gap tooth god, Michael Strahan. We'll close with a bit of personal news. This week's loser is Cameron. What a dummy. Thanks for watching. Right, that's harsh. <laughs> that's just the teleprompter tells it's me to fine. say. <laughs> I will read it. Whatever Brennan doesn't read, I'll read it. I mean, it. Brennan didn't say bitch, but okay, well. we'll say dummy, I guess. That's because I have personal standards that I <laughs> adhere to. <laughs> I'm not on fucking trial. 